In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text share to your portraits background in Photoshop 2024. Hello, photographer. Welcome back to my channel. For the ones who doesn't know me yet, my name is Silvia. I'm a specialist in the magazine style of maternity photography. In this channel, I'll talk about professional editing techniques to help you make more money with photos. Now, let's get into the video. One of the reasons why you might want to add some texture to your background um, on your photos is to make your photos to be more interesting. When you add some texture, you change the mood, the feeling, the personality of the photo. This not only can give you more power to your photo, let's say like that, but also it can make it look more, um, more expensive work because it seems like there is more to your photo, more work to your photo. It is not a simple plain background. It has something more in there and um, it has more story. It is more interesting. Another thing is that by having some texture to the background, you can help the eyes of the viewer to go to the main object in the case will be the client. So that might be something that you would like to do. And it doesn't even need to be something that is too much in the background. It could be a very simple texture. Now let's see how we can have some texture to this photo here and then we can compare the before and after. The first thing that we wanna do here is to make a selection and separate the client, the model, from the background. So we are gonna go to the selection here. It could be any of them. And we are gonna click select subject. Make sure that all the subject is selected here. I think that that's good. So I'm gonna press command J and now I have a layer that it's only with the model. Now we are gonna go and we are gonna create uh, the texture in the between the photos here. So I'm gonna go to filter here. And one of the ways that you can create this um, texture is by going to pattern. Photoshop has a few different patterns here that you can use. I don't like this one that it's with the tree. So I'm gonna choose something that it's more, less visible, that it has less of a design, if that makes sense. So I think this one is pretty good. It reminds me a little bit, it's saying that it's grass, but it reminds me a little bit of sand. We have this, this, all of this, I think that it might be really good and that it could work very well. So I'm just gonna choose any one and I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm gonna change the color because I don't want this blue color here. So I'm gonna create another layer of hue saturation and I'm gonna click in this icon here because all the changes that I do to this layer, hue saturation layer, will only be applied in the layer that's under the hue saturation layer. So everything that I change here, let's just change the colors. It's only being applied to the pattern fill one layer. Now I'm gonna change the colors here that I would like for my background. I want something more brown, I think more like this is good and less saturated as well. I think that that's great. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the pattern fill layer here. I'm gonna go with the opacity all the way to zero and slowly I'm gonna bring the opacity back up. So I think that actually this works pretty well. This looks really good. So it's very easy and simple to add some texture to your background. Another thing that I wanna do is just to work a little bit with the luminosity, making the middle, the center of the photo to be a little bit lighter than the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a curved layer and I'm gonna push down to make it a little bit darker. And now I'm gonna create another curved layer and I'm gonna make this one a little bit lighter. So I want the center of this to be a little bit lighter. Just gonna hide the mask here. So I'm gonna click on the mask and press Command I so I can all see the effect of the curves. And now I'm gonna go here and choose the gradient tool. I'm gonna select this one here that it's like the radio and I'm gonna choose this one here that goes from white to background because I wanna 
now show a little bit of the luminosity the of the effects of the curves in the in the photo so from the center to the outside i'm just gonna create something like this and now you can see that there is a little bit of work on the light right there but it's still um not really good so i'm gonna make it lighter and i think that i'm gonna make this bigger as well let me close this now we can see more of the luminosity here so i'm gonna put both curves in one folder so i just select both layers and i press command g and i'm gonna write light so i know that that's the light and look at the difference now i'm making the eyes of the viewer to go more to the center of the photo and if you think that is too much too strong or anything just bring down the opacity and slowly come up with the opacity i think that this is pretty good i like the result and you can also go back to the light here and make it darker as well just to intensify a little bit more of the fact you can just play around now with the light and see what you like the best another thing that we can do now we can work a little bit more with the pattern as well i don't need to choose the one that i'm using i can just go back to the pattern and see the other ones that we have and see if there is anything that works better i like something that it's more noisy but this is one of the ways that you can create some texture on the background i kind of like this one you can remove the hue saturation as well to see if it does any changes I kind of like this one. Um, I'm gonna play with the opacity a little bit. Another thing that you can do is by, um, instead of having the layer as a normal blend, you can just choose like a different blend, like multiply, and that gives a different effect as well. And you can just play more with the opacity Another way that you can create a texture as well is instead of using the patterns on Photoshop, you can just create a layer. Let me just remove this. I'm gonna put this in a folder and I'm gonna write texture pattern. Perfect. Now, another thing that we can do is by creating a layer, go to edit, fill, 50% gray okay now I'm gonna go to filter noise add noise and just choose a big number for this I'm gonna hit okay now let's add some color to this layer so I'm gonna go here on the filter hue saturation I'm gonna hit colorize I only want to change the color of the layer um, with the noise so I'm gonna press this icon here and now the hue saturation is attached to the layer nine. And now I'm gonna choose the color that I want for that layer. I want something more brown. I think good here is good. I don't want too much. Um, don't want to be that intense. That's good. Now I'm gonna go back to the layer nine I'm going to bring the opacity down to 100 and slowly I'm just going to go up. It is not too much. It is just giving a little bit of something to the background. It's not something plain, but it's something that makes the photo to be a little bit more interesting. And you can see how much of that you will like on your photo. Here's without the lighting on the background. The background definitely helps to make the photo to be more interesting. Here's the before and after with the texture. If you think that it is too much, again, just go down with the opacity, but it gives something else, something more to the photo. You can also, again, change the blending mode and maybe go to multiply, for example, go 
higher with the opacity and here's the before and after i think i do prefer the normal one with a lower opacity i think that this looks very good very simple elegant and it's just a little bit more to the photo another way that you can add some textures as well is just by grabbing free photos on google and searching for texture so i have some examples here as well let me just change this here okay and let's stop viewing this here this one is texture texture noise okay i'm gonna change the lighting um above the texture but we have some other textures that you can try. So for example, I have this one here that's all white. And if you look at the photo, it's something very, very simple as well. It's just, you know, it seems like it's, it has some painting to it. Um, so nothing much. The texture can be something very, very simple. So I'm going to create here a hue saturation because this is all white and I want to keep the brown color is still on my photo so i'm just gonna duplicate actually the hue saturation um, layer that we have created here so i'm gonna select the layer and press command j now i'm gonna bring it up here and i'm gonna tweak this a little bit i'm gonna make it darker so i have more color and i'm gonna press this icon here again to be attached to only the, the texture layer and now I'm going to go make sure that we can see the model. Now we have the background, the texture. So now I'm going to go down with the opacity all the way to zero. And slowly I'm going to go up. And with the light, I'm going to go back to try to see how this lighting is working. Okay, there we go. So it looks pretty cool as well. Um, that's definitely not my favorite texture, but it's something that you can do. And again, you can just play around and change the blending mode. I think that it looks kind of cool with the um, multiply blending mode. It's just giving a little bit of something here. So here's the before, here's the after. And I have other textures that I was trying to play with as well. So let me just... So let's just see how this one works. And the blending mode is normal. I'm gonna remove a little bit more of the color. So now I'm gonna go with the opacity all the way to zero and slowly just bring up. So this is something pretty, pretty cool as well. It's a different texture. It gives a different feeling and mood to the photo. Here's the before and here's the after, before, after. And you can always, again, just go more as well, before and after. I think it looks pretty cool. And let's see with the light. I like with the lighting that we did here. It gives more a dramatic look a little bit and more contrasting as well. And again, you can always go back and tweak a little bit of the um, of the fact, make a little bit stronger. Now let me show you other textures that I got from the internet as well. There's this one here. I'm gonna bring this hue saturation layer and add just to the the new texture and go with the opacity all the way to zero and just bring up and i really like this one as well it gives a cool effect with the lighting so here's the before here's the after you can make it stronger as well so let's just make it stronger and see how it works this looks really good let me go a little bit less here so before and after and again you can also play with the blending mode. Multiply, I don't think I like the multiply right there. Okay, normal looks better. 
another texture is this one this one is the noise one so let me just delete it this was another one that i got on the internet and i think that the color of it is already a really good color very similar to what i like kind of brown so i'm not going to use the hue saturation um to correct the color for this layer because i think that, that that's good so i'm just gonna go with the opacity to zero and slowly bring back oh i really like this one as well and the lighting just bring a mood a different mood for the photo helps the eyes again always go back to the center to the model so this is something very cool and interesting and here's with the texture and we dial and we can go stronger even stronger with the texture or a little bit less i think i like more like a little bit less and here's the before and here's the after before and after click the like button if you like the results now you know how to add texture to your portraits which will give you photos a better quality of work this is very important if you wanted to get paid more if you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos check out my latest video here on the screen also subscribe to my channel i post new videos every week for now this is everything i hope this video was very helpful until next time